Plus some more coming to you with another mukbuck bag. Before we get into this video, I would like for you to like this video, share this video, and comment down below. And if you are new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. All right, let's get into the video. So before I start talking, I want to put something in my stomach because I haven't ate all day. And on today's menu, it's chili cheese dogs. Get my strong. Mm. Hey y'all, <laughs> this chili cheese dogs is popping. Y'all don't even understand. When you ain't ate nothing all day, the first bite you take guarantee you is bomb malicious. It's popping. It's going down. Leave that. <laughs> So how's everybody day? Leave a comment down below. Let me know how the weekend going. For those who watching. I'm so tired, you guys. It's been a long day for me. And actually, I'm getting over a cold. So if y'all haven't seen me talking or anything, I've been doing a lot of ASMRs. Well, not, I ain't gonna say a lot, but I've been trying to do ASMRs due to the fact that I, hasn't, I haven't been feeling well. So I just decided not to talk. But I'm feeling a little better. Mm -hmm. I'm out here in the snow, and I don't do too well with it. Right. I've been here for what eight years, and I'm still not used to it. Mm -mm -mm. Nope. Take me back to California, okay? Going back to Cali. Period. Poo. Mm hmm. Oh my goodness. You know what? I forgot to grab a fork. That's okay. Y'all gonna be seeing me doing a whole lot of liquor. Smacking. If y'all don't like that, please exit. I'm telling you right now, please exit. Cause there's no shame in my game over here, period. <laughs> I'm in my comfort zone, pretty much. I'm at home. I'm not in public. I'm at home and my camera's fine. So, it goes down over here. Period. <laughs> mm hmm So what? We're like 18 days into the new year. How's everyone new year going so far? Mine, honestly, I feel totally freaking blessed at I feel like this is the year. I mean, 2020 vision. Listen, 2020 vision. This, I have to go up. I have to go up than what I'm already am. And that's what brings me to my topic next. Mm hmm. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it real heavy. I was talking to my younger brother early in the morning. We ain't got the phone till like what? 325 in the morning. <laughs> I done down there fell asleep on him and everything. He said, You woke? I said, Mm-hmm. Telling him a story. <laughs> but I heard him though. 
we have a great understanding with, with one another. He's wise beyond his years. And he's still growing. Mm -hmm. And he's still growing. And I just love calling him. Just to get him. A brief understanding. Am I wrong about some of the things that I'm going through in my life? I need someone else's point of view. Now when I tell a story. I tell my truth and the truth. Okay. <laughs> Period. I just be needing some advice. Someone that understand where I'm coming from. Am I going crazy? Because people who back you seem like you're going crazy. And you ain't even the one. You're not the one at all. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, excuse me again. So a lady like her. Oh well. <laughs> Better out than in. Mm -hmm. So let me finish this up, and we're gonna we're gonna get into this topic. Seriously, we're gonna get into this topic. Cause I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I think this topic needs to be addressed to the to to the black community to the black community at, at that. I mean, everyone goes through it. However, black the black community we definitely we go through it, and we don't talk about it. So, I want to address it because I was one of the ones that once, you know, was going through it and feeling some type of way about it too as well. I'm done with this. Hell, I think I should have put another goddamn hot dog on my goddamn plate. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I am hungry, y'all. I'm about to be like, be the start calling people. Bring me. Bring me another, Bring me another hot dog. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's so good. I just have a headache. Okay. So you guys, this is one of the topics that, you know, I've been through in life. I've seen a lot of people go through it and I feel like it's okay to be not okay. And that's depression. We all go through it. And we allow it to take a, take a toll over us. And we, we try to hold up. And I believe that we should be able to talk to someone about these problems that we're having. We try to carry the weight on our shoulders. And I remember my father telling me, Amor, you know what? You are one of the strongest 
you are the strongest out of all, should I say. And I was real, real young, and I didn't understand what he meant by that. I was like, huh? You know, I was only, what, about maybe six, seven years old. And he was like, you're the strongest out of us. And I'm like, what is he talking about? And, you know, as the years go by, I understand. I was like, okay. Yeah, I am a strong individual because I sit here, I take on this, I take on that, I take on this, that, and the third. And I just got to a point where I was like, I'm not okay. And I didn't want to show the world or, you know, my media family that I wasn't okay. And me doing that, I was bottling a whole lot in. I was taking in other other people energy. I was, you know, taking in other people anger, their frustration, just a lot of stuff I was taking in and I was just bottling it all up and just throwing it over my shoulders. Not understanding that it was too much. It became a mental breakdown for me. And I was not okay. I was not okay even though I was like, oh, I'm fine. Oh, how you doing? I'm fine, I'm fine. And I had to realize, I had to step back and like, why am I sitting here lying to these people about not being okay? So I told myself, next time that I'm not okay, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to definitely talk about it. Because if you don't talk about it, if you don't seek that help, then you're going to lose it. You're going to lose everything. You're going to lose everything. And it got so bad. Depression got so bad to where, you know, in my life, I isolated myself. I I pulled myself away from my own family. I pulled myself away from my friends. And in my mind, I was like, oh, man, yeah. You know, it ain't nothing but God just trying to, you know, get my attention. Yeah, I was using it as that. However, I was still feeling down. Now, if it was God's doings, I shouldn't have felt so so down and low, you know, as a person. So I looked at it and I said, man, this ain't right. Well, I feel it this way. It's depression. Depression will take a toll of your life and uh, the small little basics. I just wanted to reach out and say to y'all, like, it's okay to not be okay. Also, talk to someone. You know what I'm saying? If somebody tell you or ask you how you doing and you're not doing well, let them know, like, I ain't doing okay. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't nobody ain't no mind reader. I mean, we got some body language readers, but, I mean, if you looking A-okay, you know what I'm saying, and you telling that person you A-okay, then they're going to accept the fact that you're a-okay. So at the end of the day, speak up for yourself. Talk to someone. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's strong in the black community that we are not talking and taking this very seriously. This is something that we need to take very, very seriously because it's real. It it, it, it it turns into other things like, oh, man, mental health problems. I'm talking about real mental health problems. I I know I got a friend right now. Oh man. This guy he he going crazy. He's so depressed. He 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 going he going crazy and I'm like, hey, you need counseling, you know, cuz I mean I could I could say so much. I could tell you so much. I'm not a I'm not a counselor or anything like that. I mean, I would love to help you the best way I can, but if I feel like I'm not bringing any value to your life, I can't, it's, 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 it's no more that I can do. 
at this point, you're, you have to be willing to help yourself. You know, it starts with you. It starts with you. If you feel that you're not okay, seek the help that is needed for you to get by in life, to get ahead in life. But, you know, a lot of people don't want to admit to their wrongs. They don't want to admit to the fact that they're depressed. They want to feel like they got everything under control when everything is not for them to have control of. We live in this life, yeah, it's free will, you know what I mean? But we don't have full control. It would be great to have it. It would be wonderful. But we don't have full control. Everything happened for a reason. That's what I mean by full control. Everything happened for a reason. You know, I used to get upset at the fact that, oh, man, things ain't going my way. I ain't got full control. Everything, I just get upset. And I sat back and it just dawned on me. I said, man, you know, I can't control everything. I just got to let life, I got to live life. I got to let it flow. You know what I'm saying? I I take the best out of it. You know, I take the negativity and I turn it into a positive thing. You know, I got to. That's that's how I, I keep pushing. I keep moving forward, you know. Take that negative, that negative, that negative vibe, that energy, and turn it into a good thing. You know, just because you didn't get what you wanted today, that don't mean that you ain't going to get it tomorrow. So, or, or the next day, or a year. I mean, everything takes time. You just got to be patient. And I know you can become very, you know, discouraging, and it, and it, it leads to depression. However, you just got to, you know, keep yourself, you know, one foot ahead, one foot ahead of the other. But that was just my main little topic that I wanted to speak about. I don't really want to talk about depression. It was, just, it was just old me. I was like, oh, man. And the fact, not just depression, it is okay to not be okay. <laughs> Definitely. Well, I'm about to end this video, you guys. I'm about to I'm about to smash this last piece. I ain't gonna lie to y'all off camera. I just wanted to have that little, you know, talk with y'all one on one, you know, and like, you know, give me more topics down below in the comments, you know. Let me know what it is that you wanna see. Let me know what you wanna talk about. What more do you want from me? Help me help you guys become, you know, you know, better people. Y'all helping me? I can help y'all. You know, let's let's get into this. Let's let's talk. Let's talk. I got I got a couple of, I got a couple of ideas in mind that I want to put out there. I just you know, like I said, I'm 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 new to the, this little mukbang thing. So, hey, y'all gotta be right with me. But uh, thank you for those that who are out there actually supporting me. I really do appreciate that. You know, um, it's really hard to, you know, get someone to actually support you, especially when, you know, they don't know what it is that you're doing. And, uh, you know, like I said, just thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. One love. Peace.